a very good morning to all of you so uh, today we are going to discuss one more case scenario so reading of the mcq an elderly female presents with acute onset of confusion and bumping into things on examination she is alert oriented with fluent speech and normal comprehension on further examination there is an impaired wiring right to left orientation arithmetic abilities and finger identification mri reveals several foci of cortical and subcortical increased t2 signals the most probable diagnosis so the options they have given uh, a is gersman syndrome b is anton syndrome c is korsakoff psychosis and d is millard gobler syndrome okay now let me tell you what the answer is the answer is gersman syndrome okay what is this gersman syndrome gersman syndrome is basically it is a rare neurological disorder okay it is a rare neurological disorder and uh, if you look at gersman syndrome there will be four classical features okay there will be four classical features 3 d's and 1 f okay so the first d what i'm going to say is dysgraphia what is dysgraphia means dysgraphia is nothing but it is the inability to express the thoughts in writing the affected person they may not be able to write what they thought what they think so inability to express the thoughts in writing dysgraphia and uh, moving to the next d dyscalculia dyscalculia or a calculia it is nothing but the person the affected person they cannot solve simple arithmetic problems simple mathematical calculations fine so that we call it as dyscalculia or a calculia and this is d, d uh, the the patient will be you know they will not be oriented properly they call it as disorientation fine so and f is finger agnosia finger agnosia okay so the patient will have dysgraphia that is they will not be able to express their thoughts in writing dyscalculia or acalculia that is they cannot solve simple arithmetic problems disorientation and finger agnosia that is they cannot recognize or identify one's own or another finger fine they cannot identify or recognize their one's own or another finger okay so if i have all these four symptoms with no mental retardation that is a classical trademark diagnosis of gersman syndrome fine so if you look here the, the this patient impaired wiring is seen right to left orientation and arithmetic abilities is impaired finger identification is impaired fine so this or the four classical features of gersman syndrome and mri reveals some abnormalities in the brain so that is definitely because it is a neurological disorder so if you look at the next if you rule out the next syndromes anton syndrome okay so anton syndrome is basically it is also a neurological disorder fine the very important feature of anton syndrome is it affects my occipital cortex fine it affects my occipital cortex so what happens there will be visual agnosia the patient will have blindness but the patient will refuse to accept that they are blind fine so in anton syndrome i will have occipital cortex involved occipital lobe is involved so that will result in visual agnosia but the patient will not accept that they are blind fine okay next moving to the next option that is uh, korsakoff psychosis as we all know see korsakoff psychosis is basically your uh, thiamine deficiency isn't it so it is your b vitamin b1 deficiency and it uh, the all chronic alcoholism alcohol misuse that is the main cause of this and that might result in what is called as your wrinkles encephalopathy where you know you will have confusion ataxia ophthalmoplegia and it is one of the medical emergencies so all would be aware of this term korsakoff psychosis okay now the last option is millard gobler syndrome millard gobler syndrome it is a, a lesion of the pons fine it is a lesion of pons and uh, you will definitely would have come across this syndrome and it is involvement of your 6th and your 7th cranial nerve fine and there will be contralateral hemiplegia so the three important points in miller gobler syndrome is there will be a lesion of your pons and 6th uh, and 7th cranial nerves are involved and uh, your contralateral hemiplegia is seen so 
today we learned about the gerstmann syndrome so this is one of the rare neurological syndrome so you just familiarize with the names and the four important features of gerstmann syndrome your dysgraphia dyscalculia disorientation and finger agnosia so that's all guys uh, thank you for watching this video and hope it was helpful and share with your friends